Today I'm delighted to speak to Michael Jacobitis from the London Business School. Michael, tell us about value migration. Value migration is part of what I've been looking at recently. And there's a couple of interesting questions. First of all, if you think about where value is created and captured, it's much less in a sector, but it's in an ecosystem. How it is that firms like Google, like Apple, are trying to capture value not only from their own segment, but from their sector as a whole. And we're starting to get a crack at understanding some of the tactics that explain who keeps the value, when, how, and why. What are some of those tactics? Well, first of all, it's important to understand what the setting looks like. And what we've done is to think about places where value does migrate, places like the computer sector, where we all know that value flowed from the OEMs, the big integrated firms like IBM and DEC, to the specialized people in other parts of the value chain, like Microsoft and Intel, and say, not only how is it that you can create the bottlenecks, how is it that firms strategically manage the architecture of the sector, but how that differs from settings whereby the OEMs, the big guys, were able to still maintain the industry under their control. And what's a really fascinating study is the most recent work that I've done that looks at the way that the automobile manufacturers, perhaps in a difficult industry, still were able to keep most of the value in this very difficult sector. So Michael, how do the auto manufacturers manage to do this? Well, partly they were lucky. And here's where the research starts getting really interesting. The first thing that we see, and we see that in automobiles, but I think it happens in many other sectors of the economy, is that the incumbents don't conform to this image that we have of the flat-footed giants. You see, quite often we think about uh, the incumbents as these slow to respond, slow to innovate, slow to move companies that do not understand where the sector is going. It's a very different story if you start looking at what's going on. And when you look at the automobile sector is you understand that the big trends, the trends toward modularization and vertical disintegration were things that were driven by the OEMs. If you think about Delphi and Visteon, these were born out of the bowels of the integrated firms that said, hey guys, there's a new way which we should structure the sector. So the first lesson is, in many sectors, the incumbents are the ones that are reshaping it. The second, and that's where it gets more interesting, they quite often get it wrong, and the waste shareholder value and uh, the possibility of making more money. That's part of the story. Part of the story is that they drive that change. The second part of the story is that they were lucky when they understood that that didn't make sense to come back. Think about what happened with big guys. Chrysler, Fiat, they started thinking that they will focus on narrow slivers of the value chain and they'll control it. Well, they understood that that's not going to work, but they then had the luxury of being able to call the shots and change the structure of the sector again to something that made more sense to them.